will show you how you can automate sending DMs to Instagram users and liking their first post, all with the bot that you can make in Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder, let's dive in. I'm just gonna talk you through what we're gonna cover in this video. I'm gonna show you the bot in action first of all. I'm gonna do that right now by clicking run. So this is the bot in its raw format where you edit it and you can customize it fully to your requirements. You can just use this as a starting guide and like build the bot out further if you want. It's really simple, you just add steps. Anyway, let's just click run, watch the bot in action. Let me explain to you what it does. So this is the, the bot, it's opened it up on the desktop. I'm not doing anything here. This is pretty damn cool. This is gonna be the bot. It's going to check for the message button. Watch the message button is going to be highlighted orange in a moment. The message is there, so it's going to send the message because it's found the button. Now, whilst that notification is turned off, you can see just in the background, the message has already been sent. Now it's going to click open the post. It's going to click on the like. And then it's going to loop through to the next row. This is automation. This is browser automation. This is so freaking cool. I love it. Remember, you can customize these bots. You can build completely different bots. It's, Axiom is a bot builder. It's not fixed. This is a wonderful thing about browser automation. You can customize it. Anyway, look at this profile. There is no message button. So we've got a conditional check that doesn't set, try and send messages. It goes on to the next row when no message button is found. And it's just going to loop through. See, I'm just doing tests here. So this is to my own account. So it's just come back to to demonstrate but it basically loops through a whole series of links stored in a, a google sheet anyway so that's the bot in action let me just talk you through i'm just going to click stop and kill the bot dead there cool so you've seen the bot in action now let me just walk you through how it's set up how you get going with a bot like this so first of all you can find this bot on our template page on our website you may have also seen it before because this is a version I've built with our, our latest UI because it's a, quite a popular bot with our users. Anyway, I'm going to take you through a moment how I've set that up. So you can install it from our website. Once you install it, it will look pretty much like this. You'll just have to do a minimal amount of configuration. I will talk you through how you can set the bot up entirely from scratch. But if you just want to do the minimal amount of configuration and get it going, this is what you do. So first of all, you're going to need a Google Sheet. And in that sheet, I set up tabs with profile, sent and unsent at the bottom. Because what we do is we track the messages that we sent. And then we also write the users who are unsent when they haven't got that message button. Okay, back to the profiles. This is our list of profiles that we just loop through. Now, as I mentioned, you can make, build many different types of bots with Axiom. That's pretty cool. That's powerful because if you need a list of users, well, you could scrape them all from uh, a hashtag page, for example, in Instagram. And you can make a very simple scraper to do that in Axiom. And there are templates for this and there are tutorials you can find in about a minute. OK, so presuming you've already got that list of users, this is let's keep going and show you this bot. I'm going to open up Axiom again and get to the bot. So the first step, what you'll need to do is configure here is add your Google Sheet in. Then you'll need to set it up to the tab where you've got all the links in. You should find we're pulling in only the first cell, last cell, because we only want to pass one URL to a profile. So don't try and adjust that and pass more in. If your, if your user profile links aren't in column A, you can simply adjust this to the column that you want to in so if your if your link is in column D just do D1 to A1 so to D1 to D1 okay so that's the first bit of configuration done take seconds you don't need to configure any of these steps I'll loop back around and talk you all through step by step in a second the next step you need to configure is this um, the right step so this basically writes when a message has not been sent so it goes to the unsent tab just change the link the data should be plugged in it should be just from the Google sheet it's the data you want to pass because we're just putting the user profile in then because we're doing loops here and I'll explain more about that we need to delete the row that we've just done because when the bot loops that round we want a fresh row in there for the bot to do so we pass the Google sheet in again we delete row from one to one because we're only doing one at a time. Then again, from the profiles where all the links are is where you want to delete the row. OK, skipping all of that, the rest of the bot is set up. We'll go back around that in a second. You will need to add your message in and that goes into the enter text step here. OK, 
You can also pass messages from the Google Sheet if you do desire by simply having a column of data in the sheet, making it available to select, and then you could just pass it in. For example, you could also just pass names into the message to personalize it very easy. Okay, next, let's just go down to the final parts we need to configure, and that is the right step here. Why have we got two right steps? Because one right step is for when we don't send the message and one is to record when we do send the message. So again, link to your sheet, but link to the tab that is sent or what, whatever you've called it. Again, pass. make sure the Google data is passed in. Importantly, we add to existing data. Okay, finally, the last step you need to configure. So this, in all configurations in this bot, it'll take about a minute and a half, as you'll see, is just this final delete row. And this again removes the row, so when the bot loops, it goes to um a fresh row. Now, you may also want to control the amount of loops you do. When you're first testing the bot, I recommend, recommend and this final jump step will control those amount of loops, I recommend just doing three or four for, pardon me, for testing. And then when you're ready to do your, your batch, put in 20. Do remember the Instagram limit, so, so don't try and do 100 DMs in five minutes because you will get your account blocked. Don't go too spammy on this. Use this to grow your followers. We don't want you spamming people, just use it for growth. Okay, now that's how to set up the bot. So if that's all you wanted, good luck automating with the bot. It's gonna work a treat and I just love browser automation. But if you wanna learn a bit more about how the bot was built and the steps we've used, keep watching because I'm just gonna quickly walk you through. Now, a really important thing to know about Axiom Every bot is completely customizable. You can add in new steps. You can select the steps, drag and drop, remove, um, reorder them, etc. And you can just completely make it work to what you want. These are sort of frameworks you can work with or just use the bot straight off the shelf how it is. Anyway, let me explain to you how it's built. So first of all, I won't go on about the read data sheet because we've just done those. Let me have the int, so we read the bot works by reading the URL, passing it into the interact step here, and we've passed it into the enter URL field. Simple as that, we'll just select the column with the, the link in, done. Then we've got a scrape here, and what we're doing here is we scrape for the word message. Because we only want to try and, we don't want the bot to spend ages and fail trying to send a message to um, a page you can't send a message to. So we do it scrape there to get the message. And then we just pass that data from the scrape into here because we're doing a conditional jump. So that data would come from there and that would pass the word message here. And what we do is then put the word message in the words to check field because we're gonna compare the two. So it basically checks, is the word message? Does it match this? If it does, then the condition passes. When the condition passes, the bot skips steps four, five, and six. Steps four, five, and six handle when there is no message. So the bot will just basically, will stop, record the no message sending to the, to the not sent sheet. It will delete the row, and then it'll jump back to a, a new row and try and send a message to a new profile. So we've got a loop here using a jump step. Okay, so when the, condition is successful step three will jump all the way to step seven now quickly before I explain step seven if you're using jump steps and you add additional steps in between like say an additional step between six and seven you are going to change the order and you will need to edit your jump step and change the step you're jumping to okay enough about that let's just walk you through the interact with page here we click the message I don't click um yeah here we click the message button and so that bot is basically because the message button is present whereas on this page it's not the bot's going to click that message button you can see the message if this i was testing sending now a really important thing to note here the cursor is already in position so we didn't have to select the input field to enter it so we could just enter the text straight away. But one of the things that I observed, and you'll, you'll see it, you saw it earlier on the run, when you run this bot and it gets to the message page, you get a pop-up. Now we use a click element to, to close that pop-up. 
And the, the really cool thing, because what I observed in that pop-up, let me just see if I can, let me, I'll just explain to you how I did it by doing a little, do to edit the template. Let me just, moment, let me run my brain. Um, yeah, so basically I wanna try and replicate that pop-up in a bot really quickly. I don't think I'll waste your time doing it. Let's keep going. So you saw the pop-up come up. I did a really clever thing here. I looked for the button text on that pop-up because I couldn't select it because it only appeared in run. I chose a custom selector. This is our brand new custom selector tool. And I clicked on the button using text instead of HTML. This is so cool. This is a great new feature. The reason why I'm also remaking the video for this, how to do this bot, because features like this have come online in Axiom. They're really big improvements. Use text to, instead of HTML. So basically on the, the pop-up that I noticed that does come, does appear when you run, it's basically has the text not now. So all I needed to do was type that text in there, tick that box, and I know that button's going to be able to click it. And so I quickly got that button in there. And now another important new setting in here that perhaps that, I started thinking perhaps that pop-up doesn't appear every time you run a bot. So I made it an optional click. So by making an optional click, if the button doesn't appear and the pop-up's not there, the bot won't break. It won't stop running because it couldn't find a, a, a button to click. It won't throw an error. So it just keeps on running. So that then puts us nicely in the position to enter our text. So you put your text message in there, the message, your DM message in there. You can add more than one text box and string them together. We then use the key press step, which is really handy in browser automation if you're unfamiliar familiar with it. You know, sometimes selecting things can be tricky or you can just do things using combinations of keys. So we have this key press step where you can record your key actions. So to send a message, we literally have the enter text step, put it in, and then we use the key press to record a return or enter key to send the message. So that's a really handy use of key press there. Now, important thing here is we use a wait I just add a wait here just because I don't want the bot to, to um, leave the, the message page because we're going to go back to do the like before it's had a chance to post the message and, and Instagram's back end to receive it. Because if we break, if we reload the page too early, it obviously breaks, it, it breaks that process. So next, we have a small JavaScript step. Yes, you can use custom JavaScript in Axiom if you're a coder out there. It's a tiny one. Basically, we're using this to go, to go back. So this does the, the back button in the browser, and we go back to the um, go back to the profile page. So we can click on like. So first of all, we do is what we did was basically. Let me go back to. So that's what that the back button does it basically takes you back to there and then we go to the, the section that clicks the like what i had to do here was click to open the pop-up first if i press confirm there so i'm just basically replicating that so we needed the pop-up of the instagram to come up so i replicated that with a click then i added a little wait to give enough time for the pop-up to appear before we clicked on the like then i used our special click on social media button that selects the like. So if it's already been liked, um, we don't unlike it. That was pretty simple to do. All I needed to do was select onto the heart there, press complete, job done. Okay, so we're almost at the end of the bot. Last couple of steps, thank you for watching. If you still are watching indeed, or if you skip to this part, please do click subscribe if you're watching our YouTube channel. Okay, now finally, we repeat pretty much what we do earlier on in the bot when a message isn't sent, but this time we record the message being sent, as I've mentioned earlier, into the Google Sheet, into the Sent tab. We delete the row because when we jump, we want a fresh row. And how to jump, the jump step's a really powerful, really useful thing. So it just lets you skip jumps. You can traverse up and down your Axiom bot so you can go back or you can go, go forward. You literally nominate the, the, the step you want to jump to and set the amount of loops. Again, when you're testing your bot, do a small amount of loops. When you're um, running the bot, when it goes live, you can do a bit more, but think limits on Instagram. One last thing, 
the bot has been optimized for, for use that's why we do do build them like this with the jumping because it's going to go through row by row in the sheet if the bot does stop it's not going to delete the row if it's mid mid run and you can just click run and pick up where you've left off so that's really useful okay that's it i hope you found this video useful it's been a pleasure making it i really do enjoy building bots and i'm going to build many more if you've got ideas for templates please send them in and um sorry pardon me and um yeah do click subscribe so if you've enjoyed this um <coughs> video and you've got ideas for templates do send them in and please do click subscribe on the youtube channel thank you